On February 7th, 1904, hundreds of white people cheered as a black man named Luther Holbert and his black wife Mary Holbert were tortured and killed in Dodgeville, Mississippi. Holbert was accused of shooting and killing James Eastland, a prominent white landowner from a wealthy local family that owned a plantation where many of the area's black laborers worked. After his shooting, Eastland's two brothers led the posse that captured the Holberts. Reports of the events before the shooting varied. Some newspapers claimed that Luther argued with Eastland when the white man ordered him to leave the plantation, while others stated Eastland had attacked Luther for encouraging other indebted black workers to flee the slavery-like conditions of bonded labor. According to an eyewitness account published in the Vicksburg, Mississippi Evening Post, the Holberts were tied to trees while their funeral pyres were prepared. They were then forced to hold out their hands and watch as their fingers were chopped off one by one and distributed as souvenirs. Next, the same was done to their ears. Luther was then beaten so badly that his skull was fractured and one of his eyes hung by the shreds from the socket. The mob next used a large corkscrew to bore into the arms, legs, and bodies of the two victims, pulling out large pieces of raw flesh and bone. The victims reportedly did not cry out and they were finally thrown on the fire and allowed to burn to death. The event was described as festive, with the audience of 600 white spectators having deviled eggs, lemonade, and whiskey.